Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have yet another eyeshadow palette tag video. I cannot resist a good eyeshadow palette tag. This one's unique. I've never done one like this before. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. Before I get started, I just want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you don't know Ana Luisa, I have partnered with them a few times before. I am literally always wearing their jewelry in my videos. They are my go-to place for minimal jewelry that's just great for every day. And I have been partnered with them for over a year now. And I literally wear their jewelry in the shower, working out, all of that. And I have not had a piece break. I have not had a piece lose its color, fade, anything like that, rust. So. I can definitely stand by the fact that they create exceptional quality with their jewelry pieces. They're a great gift to yourself or to somebody else. They offer delivery all over the world. Make sure you are following them on Instagram and on their email list because they have a lot of specials and a lot of sales and they will email you about new releases and of course those exclusive sales. If you check them out, make sure you use my code MORGANT10 for 10% off at checkout. I'll have the link in the description box to check out their pieces. Ana Luisa does sustainable jewelry starting at $39. They are carbon neutral and they create their pieces in limited batches to ensure the best quality while eliminating excessive waste. So I want to show you the pieces that I picked out this round. I was going for something classic, minimal, just pieces that I could wear for every day. So the first pair that I picked up were these hoops. I wanted a bigger hoop because I love hoops but something still wearable. These aren't too heavy and and I just think they're a little bit more than the classic hoop because they're a little bit chunky, but they still aren't too crazy great for every day. They're going to match every piece of jewelry. I also picked up these ear cuffs right here. I mean, they're baby hoops, but they look like little ear cuffs and they have a little bit of bubbling to them to add a little bit something extra, which is really cute. I've been enjoying these a lot. Again, very classic, very small, and they're going to go with a lot of different pieces. And then the last piece that I picked up was just a simple chain, but what I thought was really unique about it. I don't know if you can see but they are two different chains So if you just leave it on its own, it still is unique But it also is a really great layering piece and they all come in really cute patches And like I said, I've been partnering them for a long time very high quality jewelry starting at an affordable price And they always have different sales and offers as well. So again, if you are interested I will have the link in the description box down below with my discount code to save you 10% off And I've had you guys message me that you've picked up your piece Pieces and you love them. They're just really classic, timeless pieces that are great for every day. So I originally saw this tag video idea from Karen Harris and Heather Austin, and I believe the tag was started by Katie Marie and Angelica L. They are the creators of the tag, so I am going to put the link to their videos down below as well. And without further ado, let's get into the questions. Like I said, these are really fun because they go beyond just the palette itself and there's a backstory that I have to each of the palettes. So the first question is, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me color story-wise. So this is the only one that I cheated on. I did cheat. I picked two palettes because I have two different moods, okay? Both palettes are in the cool color story, neutral color story, but I, I got two two different vibes, a neutral vibe and a purple vibe. As you can see today, I was feeling the purple vibe, so I felt there were two palettes that truly represented me as an individual. Now, I think I say, oh my God, this palette totally represents me a bit too many times on my channel. I've said that for quite a few palettes, but these at the end of the day are my top two. So I'm gonna start off with the purple one. I'm not wearing it today. This is one of the Sydney Grace and Temptalia palettes, but the Viseart Liaison, though, this isn't available anymore. A number of the palettes that I'm actually speaking about today aren't available anymore. I felt like this video definitely was not to sell you anything. It's about like which of these palettes have meaning to me and what type of meaning. So I just love this Viseart Liaison palette. I think it's the perfect purple palette for me. It has some neutral tones, it has some pop tones. And for me, when I think of a purple palette, this is me in a palette. Now I'm not always into purples. I mean, I am always into purples, but cool tone neutrals are my jam. They're my vibe, they're my everyday. So fun me, okay, is feeling the purples. But everyday me, it has to be the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. When Natasha came out with this palette, it was me. This was me. I like, I felt an emotional. <laughs> 
connection to it. Am I being dramatic? Yes, but y'all know how much I love eyeshadow palettes. I mean, I just felt like I had been heard when this palette had been <laughs> released. It sounds really silly, but this was the palette that I was looking for that no brand would release. And then I felt like Natasha made this just for me. These are the kind of tones that I feel comfortable in for every day. They are so beautiful. They're not overly bright. They're not overly warm which is exactly what I want. And I've created so many looks that I've absolutely loved and felt so comfortable in. So I'm cheating. First question in two palettes, but these definitely represent me. Question number two, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents me packaging wise. And this one was so easy for me. This palette actually I decluttered, but I kept it for the packaging. So it's not in my active makeup collection. But I keep it in a little box from time to time to pull out because it makes me happy. And this is very odd. The colors itself, I'm not interested in. The makeup itself, not for me. But the packaging, I bought this for the packaging and I'm keeping it for the packaging. <laughs> this is the Kylie Cosmetics I Want It All palette. And this was made for a birthday collection a few years ago. This is me, pink and glittery. I want it all, if that ain't me in the makeup industry. <laughs> and then there's just heart, very childish. I guess this should tell you a lot about me, tacky and childish. But uh, I, I don't even care for these colors. Makeup is ugly, but the actual packaging, I just, I live for it. I feel connected with the packaging. This is probably the way that I would design my own makeup packaging to look like children's makeup. But I absolutely love it. This is definitely packaging that represents me. Question number Number three, if I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents, now the original question was spring, but this tag is a, a month or two old. So I'm going to change it over to summer since yesterday, I believe, was the first day of summer. And immediately I was drawn to the BH Cosmetics Summer in Saint-Tropez. Now maybe I'm being tricked by the fact that the actual title is summer and I automatically think of summer, but not only is this a summer themed palette with summer themed colors, but I also fell in love with this palette this past summer. And this is one of my absolute favorite palettes. I know that seems a little bit like, that's a big statement right there, but I always go back to this palette. I feel like the quality is spectacular. It inspires me. It's so bright, it's so fun, and names remind me of summer. So for me, this is the ultimate summer palette. I believe last time I saw it, it was on super sale for really cheap because they were repackaging this. They kept the formula and everything, so this is still available. And I highly recommend it. The quality in here is amazing for the price, even full price. It's 100% worth it. And I'm not gonna feature this in this year's summer palette recommendations video because I featured it in last year's. But just know I, I recommend this for the summer and picking it up. You will have so much fun with this palette. Question number five. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents happy. Okay, I'm totally gonna get a little cornball on you here, but I mean, it's fact, okay? For me, that's gonna be, can, mom, okay, thank you. For me, that is going to be the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. Why does this evoke happiness on me, right? Looks kind of boring. This is the palette that I chose to wear for my wedding day. If you wanna see the tutorial on that, I do have a wedding makeup tutorial to see how I made this work, but I mean, how could I pick another palette? This for me is, my happy palette. This was the winner and it's so silly to put all of that in an eyeshadow palette but you know me with my very large love of makeup and how important my makeup is to me it was very important to me which palette I ended up choosing to wear on my wedding day and this was the winner so this was perfect for the palette that represents happy. And it's funny because I liked that palette a lot, but it never was an amazing palette to me in my collection. And then I chose it for my wedding and now it just has so much more meaning and value to me. Question number five. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the dark and grungy in me, and I knew right away which palette I wanted to go for in this because it reminds me of me, the kind of colors that I like, but a grungy me. And I recently talked about this in a video that I posted, my top five purple palettes. And that is the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette. This is a purple based palette. And as I mentioned earlier, I love purples, as you can see. And this is like the grungy purple palette of my dreams. Now, I don't reach for this very often because I'm not a grungy girl, okay? <laughs> Nothing about me is grungy at all. But if I were grungy, this would be the palette that I would wear 
every single day because it's purple but it's grungy the quality is great that's besides the point but I just had to squeeze that in there so you know if I was into the grungy tones this would be it this is what I think of when I think of grungy in general I would say Mel Cosmetics is the brand that I think of when it comes to grunge you know Whatever color story I chose for this question, it was gonna be a Mel Cosmetics palette. <laughs> I was debating between this and the other one that's completely gray that I can't remember the name of right now because I'm having a total brain fart. Mel Cosmetics Mary Jane palette. <laughs> Got it. But Mel Cosmetics, any of their palettes would go in this category. But as far as me, it's grungy to me, it's that palette. Question number six. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents the girly in me. This one I think was probably the most difficult one for me. I was digging through my palettes and I was picking out all the pinky, florally palettes. They're all super girly. But then a light bulb went off in my head and I was like, duh. Okay, the ColourPop and Barbie Malibu eyeshadow palette. So this is a new one and I'm not gonna lie, I've only used it like once so far. Um, it's one of the palettes that I'm trying out this month so I do wanna create a few more looks with this. But oh my gosh, this makes me think of girly. It brings out the girly in me because to me, growing up as a kid, there was nothing more girly than Barbies, right? If you liked Barbie dolls, you were girly. So this not only brings out the girly in me, it brings out the kid in me. The colors are so fun. They're so girly, they're so Barbie-like. So I put out a lot of different palettes. I had a Pat McGrath palette that was very pink. I had another ColourPop palette that was very floral. But ultimately I decided on this one because in a childish way, it brings out the girly in me and uh, it makes me want to wear pinks and just be really cute and girly. So I had to pick out this one. Again, I can't really speak too much on the quality of this one so far. I've only used it once. I really liked it the one time that I used it, but I definitely am going to have to continue to use this one. I can't go without one video without turning it into somewhat of a review to talk about formulas. That was not the intention of this video, but here I go. Okay, question number seven. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents fun. This one was really easy to me. This is the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. Am I loco for this palette? No, I'm not like in love with it. The quality is great, but it, it's a little too fun for me. You know, I'm not a very fun person. <laughs> and it just was such a fun move from Natasha. I think not only is the color story really fun, based on the brand that it's coming from, also makes it really fun. Natasha Denona, she plays with a lot of different color stories, but this by far was the most fun, I would say. And I have had a lot of fun trying to make this palette work. While the colors maybe aren't in my everyday repertoire, every time that I've played with this, I've had a lot of fun seeing what I could make work, what I could make work together. And this palette is actually really well curated. Even though it looks really crazy and intimidating, it really isn't as it seems. I've been loving this. I actually am planning on doing another video using this palette, so keep your eyes out because I want to do like a fun pride kind of look. This is the one that I'm going to use. It's just fun and colorful and different and don't completely turn your head at this. Like I know you probably don't need it, but it is super fun and inspiring. And that brings me to the last question for today's tag. If I would pick an eyeshadow palette in my collection that represents inspiration and there's a new palette that has entered my collection somewhat recently where the number one word that I would use to describe it is inspiring. It's just so different. I don't have another color story like this and it just makes me want to play with it and see what kind of combinations and looks I can come up with and that for me is going to be the Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics collaboration, the It's Freaking Bats palette and I believe a restock has come out with this maybe I'm wrong but to me this is so inspiring there are so many tones in here that I love and there are also tones in here that I probably wouldn't have ever picked for myself but the way that this palette is laid out and the way that they are paired together really inspires me to want to create different looks and to see how I can make this work and another note on the quality Oh my god, it's amazing. So this is a palette recently that has been calling my name out to try and create different color combinations with. So that is why I put it in this category. So there we are. Those were some really fun questions, different from any other video that I've done in a very long time. And I'm down for any opportunity to talk about eyeshadow palettes in any which way. So if you have a channel, I definitely would love to see your answers for this. Make sure you tag me. Or if you don't have a channel, 
channel. You can even take the time and, and type it in the comment section. That would be awesome as well to see what your picks are. So again, thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out the links in the description box. Pick up your own pieces if you are interested. And that's all we have for today's video. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. I guys have a good one.